Watch up, guys. Let's look at some more running backs for this 2022 NFL draft class. Uh, we're going to look at Kenneth Walker, probably one of the best names in the draft out of Michigan State here, running back. He's got some quickness. He's got some shakes, and he knows how to get downhill. There's a lot of things you're going to hear with running backs. That they better know how to get downhill. But I like the speed on him. I like the shakes. Plus, what do you like? Right. The uh, lucidness, I think, is very good for him. You know, obviously had a big season in, in 2021. Uh, so, I mean, his him as a prospect in this class, I, I like him. I mean, he can do a little bit of everything. And I like his just – his vision is good and his ability to create for himself, I think, is, you know, a top-notch trait for him because not overly physical, not overly fast, but he just knows how to create, as you see here making uh you know that decisive cut to get to where he needs to be yeah almost a guy that can create out of nothing kind of thing and then the grit to kind of get downhill again i say this a little too much when with running backs but determination to get downhill in the in the backfield you need that you need that killer instinct and here the ability to get skinny i mean there's not much of a hole to be honest so see here you got that little sliver but that's that's hard to get through but he jumps right in makes something happen with it and gets Right here, one on one with the safety, and what does he do? Whoop, just enough to get into the end zone. What do you like? Right. I mean, you said it all with his ability to get skinny. You know, he can run inside, run outside, and I think what makes makes him special, he just knows how to use uh, the space around him to maximize his yardage, as you see here, getting through that hole, and then ability to make people miss. I think that's his best trait um, because that's very important to get more yards than he's suspected to get. And he does a great job here uh, showing that. I like how he set it up too, because look at the illusion. He's going to go from this gap here. 12 is going to come in to try and fill it. Guess what? I'm not going over there. I'm going over here and just enough. I mean, just that little push to the outside. Nope. I'm going inside. And the rest is history right there. Touchdown Michigan state here again, look at the ability to just get out of the trash. Look at all these guys, Occupying space. And Michigan has a really good defense. He bounces this outside. Bounces, bounces. Gets around probably the first overall pick right there, Aiden Hutchinson. And just keeps getting upfield. Almost tries to make a man miss here. Sticking his foot in the ground. Damn near hurts himself. <laughs> but still, like, the tenacity, the ability to make people miss and get upfield. What do you like? Right. It's a combination of his acceleration, but also looseness. And it really makes him, uh, you know, a running back that goes from good to potentially great if he's developed in the right way. Uh, he shows a lot of promise um, here. Again, just being able to make a guy miss, like you see there, cutting it back, um, not trying to be over aggressive or you know overrun the play, just setting up what is available and, and taking advantage. Yeah, some running backs, yeah, are get downhill. They're strong. They're big. And then some other ones, they have to use what they have. And he has that quick stop ability and able to read blocks and get upfield. This is something you need to have. Everyone has their traits. His is it's not like the big bruisers. It's more make you miss. And let's see what I can do and find those holes. Plus, he's not the biggest guy. I mean, 5'10", maybe 200 pounds. Let's see what he weighs in at. But I like the direct snap, determined here, getting running over guys here, even though he's smaller. What do you like with that? Yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, showing that willing uh, toughness, you know, ability to run inside and, you know, again, here on a on a counter and then ability just to make those subtle moves. Again, he, I think his footwork is really what separates him, his ability to just cut on subtle subtleties of, you know, little space that is in there and, and maximize these yards. I mean, there's not much here to go on. I mean, he's just finding ways, you know, dodging, um, going back the other way and then cutting it back across the field. Good job there. Look how many times he weight shifts too. I mean, he's leaning this way. And then he's going to keep going forward. He's going to bounce it. Look where his weight's at again. Now he's legs over here, but he's leaning that way. What happens? He jumps in, leans again away from contact. So th that's a skill. A lot of guys don't have the contact balance to do that. And how is he catching the ball, getting upfield? Yeah, you need that in today's NFL. You got to be on the field three downs. He's got that. And then if you add that to his making miss ability, that's something that some team may covet moving forward in the NFL draft. What do you see? Absolutely. And I think it's something that he'll definitely have to show through the draft process. He didn't really catch the ball a lot at Michigan State. I think he only had 13 catches last year. So, I mean, his ability to catch the ball is good, um, but we have to see it more on a consistent basis. But here, you know, pass protection, 
I think he's a willing pass blocker. Again, there's still things he can be better at in this aspect, but just showing that he's willing to get in there and make a play, uh, I think is important. And obviously that was a big play for Michigan state again here, just getting the general direction of the guy and, and making sure you get enough of them again, not the greatest technique there, you know, you're <laughs> kind of just trying to chop him, and the guy goes right back by him. So obviously that's something he's going to have to work on, you know, if he's going to be a, uh, and every down back in this game. Yeah, we call that an ole. <laughs> I mean, just doing enough where the guy maybe, oops, maybe I'll block him, maybe I won't. Here, a spin move in the background where I don't know what the hell this defender's doing. I mean, he just kind of falls off of air. But, hey, Nicky miss ability, let's add that to the, the traits and get into the outside. He likes to get to the outside a little too much, to be honest. And you can kind of see it here. I mean, he's just trying to get too much, do too much, too much. <laughs> A little too much, too much, I guess, or you'll call it. What do you see here? Right. No, you're absolutely, you're on it. Um, you know, I don't think he's the most explosive guy. And you can see that, again, not great speed to to burn away from people to that outside. And and sometimes he tries to, like you said, overutilize that way too often. Um, so for him at the next level, I think it's very important that, you know, he tries to find that balance between, you know, making guys miss and also getting up the field and maximizing your yardage. That'll be very important uh, going into the next level. Yeah, not so much east and west and let's get up field, north and south. I mean, that's where you're getting your yards. But other than that, guys, if you like the content, make sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below, how is Kenneth Walker going to look in the NFL? I mean, he balled out his last year at Michigan State. Let us know how high is he going to go in the draft. With that said, until the next one.